skin, Big Bandage. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to the Acne channel. It's Callie here, my face story. And today I just wanted to talk to you guys about my professional vampire facial microneedling experience. Because I have a lot of people asking me, is it worth it? How much did it cost? What was the pain level? All that sort of thing. So just a, just a general chit chat video about all that. So let's get started. Let's get up close and personal for this. <laughs> Here we go. Doesn't, I mean, my skin doesn't look like the best right now. <laughs> I'm very tired. This isn't the best lighting either. <laughs> it's okay. That's okay. So, here we go. So let's talk about the professional microneedling experience. I will say that my skin, it's been weird since I got it done. So, at first it was very, very dry. For like three days, all I could use was the CeraVe moisturizer and it was very weird because I was afraid that my skin was gonna break out because of course, if you don't use a cleanser or anything for a few days, you know, whatever, all of your dead skin cells build up and it, yeah, kind of stressed me out. But anyways, so it wasn't painful at all. It was a one and a half to two millimeter needle. I did the PRP with it, which is where they extract your blood and use the palate rich plasma, I guess is what it's called. The woman who administered it was very, very nice, very knowledgeable. She walked me through the whole process. I'm actually thinking about recording it again. Um, not again, for the first time. I'll record it and show you guys because I had a lot of people ask me to actually see the whole experience. It's definitely something that I would not do or recommend doing at home because I just feel like it could get very unsanitary very quickly. That is a big needle. I feel like compared to the banisher five millimeter needle that's easy to clean that's easy to keep up with but like two millimeters i don't know that's just kind of scary especially since it makes you bleed i feel like that definitely needs to be left in the hands of a professional at first the first like week or so i thought oh my gosh my results are insane my skin looks so smooth i don't even think i'm gonna need like any other treatments but that was post like procedure swelling and after that went down, I wasn't as impressed with my results. I wasn't as like happy. I feel like, yes, I did still get some results, especially like around here. And just in general, it looks softer, but it's definitely not where I want to be. And I'm hoping, you know, after my third or fourth treatment, I see that kind of noticeable smoothness, especially like lately. Now it's been three weeks post and I almost feel like I'm back to square one. I'm like, did it even do anything? Does it even matter? Which is kind of annoying because it was expensive. It was $500 for the microneedling with PRP. Without, I think it was only two or 300. Yeah, I'm not gonna give up. I am going to keep, you know, working on it. I will say, I mean, you guys can tell that my scars just in general look more shallow especially here like this is completely smooth now like i will say it did get rid of my forehead scars but of course it got rid of the one area that <laughs> i wasn't really worried about in the first place you know what i mean but in general i do feel better i do feel a bit more confident about it and i have faith you know i'm going like this i have faith that in time it will smooth out and i have a lot of people asking me to compare the professional experience to the banish you know at home and I will say that with the professional, I feel like I, I thought I saw results quicker and then it kind of went away. And then with Banish, I have seen results over time. Like I have seen, you know, after my third time, lasting results. So I don't know, for me, I, I feel like Banish is almost a better option because it's cheaper and because I did see results and I had control over it myself. It wasn't someone else administering it. But I think that you know, if you're using the 0.5 millimeter needle, you have to be patient, like it's gonna take a while. And I think if you're using the two millimeter needle, it's obviously gonna have results faster because it's a deeper needle. So yeah, in all, I would say do both. <laughs> That's what I'm doing right now, I'm doing both. Um, in between treatments or when I don't wanna spend money on a treatment or if I can't afford it, I'm going to be using Banish because it's a much, much, much cheaper alternative. And I already use the masks all the time, especially the pumpkin enzyme mask and the vitamin C cream, all that. So. Yeah, honestly, I wouldn't say I recommend one over the other. I definitely recommend, you know, if you can, can do both, do both. If you can't afford the more professional expensive because I do realize not everyone can afford a $500 treatment every month. That is a lot of money. Uh, if you cannot afford that, I would definitely recommend looking into Banish because I feel like that does 
just as well, if not better. It just takes a couple more uses to see results again because the needle isn't as deep. So yeah, those are my final thoughts on all of it. And with the microneedling professional treatments, I am going to give it at least three treatments. That's what they recommended to see results. So I am going to do at least three. And if I don't see any results, you know, by the third one, I'm probably just gonna ditch it and maybe try something else or stick to banish. I don't really know yet, but I'll take you guys on this wild ride with me. Uh, I do feel like, honestly, I do notice a difference because even right here, sitting in this kind of crappy overcast lighting where you would typically see a lot of pitting, there's not as much. It definitely looks a little bit softer. So I don't know, maybe I'm just used to it now and I want more. <laughs> I feel like we always want better, you know? So that's it, you guys. That's all I got. Thank you so much for tuning in and make sure to like, comment, subscribe down below and I will see you next time. Okay. Bye guys. There's a